Tonight, homeowners are at odds over a large piece of property on the Davidson-Williamson County line. The owner wants to develop it, but archaeologists worry about what could be below the surface. News Force Carly Gordon joins us with the story you won't see anywhere else. This is the land we're talking about, 174 acres situated on Vaughn's Road. Tonight, there's concern this might be home to Native American grave sites and other artifacts because of what was already found nearby. Pottery, arrowheads, graves and post holes from where Native American homes were built. There's 77 recorded archaeological sites within a three mile radius. It's why retired state archaeologist Nick Fielder is confident there are similar pieces of history hidden here too. If you hit an Indian cemetery on your development, you have to go to Chantry Court, get an order to relocate them and go through all the legal and archaeological expense to do that. The owner, Lisa Campbell, filed a petition to turn the property into single acre lots for newly developed houses. And tonight, the group Citizens for Old Natchez Trace is fighting every way they know how. When you pave over with impervious surfaces, cut down tree canopy, basically change the landscape, you're destroying history. Laura Turner belongs to the group and says she's also concerned about what this will mean for the homes that already exist nearby. One acre monster mansions on this historic rural landscape will definitely um, harm the property values of the existing um, property owners. We reached out to the owner of this property. Her attorney tells us they don't comment on pending litigation. Meanwhile, Turner worries. I consider it a nightmare. Tonight, she and others are asking for an archaeological study. They also want the owner to sell the land to someone who will preserve it. If we cannibalize the, 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 the country, the rural landscape, the beauty, why people are moving here, then we're just going to be like Atlanta, Houston, and everywhere else. The Citizens for Old Natchez Trace filed a petition to have this case reviewed by a judge, but recently the judge assigned to the case recused himself. We'll keep you posted on what happens. Carly Gordon, News 4 Nashville.